We are in Studio F today. It's beautiful Atmos rig, SSL, incredible outboard gear behind me. I love working here. But today we are focusing on something that's actually inside the box. And that is the new announcement from Kit Plugins, who partners with Blackbird, the BBF66. Now this happens to be John McBride, the owner of Blackbird. This is his favorite Fairchild that he's ever had his hands on. So the 66 is modeled after Martina's, as you, look at the sticker right here, even. Uh, this is modeled after John's favorite Fairchild that he's ever had his hands on. And so he loves to use it on his lovely wife. And they used to use it even on the road, touring with it. Can you imagine carrying around something like that? I mean, uh, to, to my knowledge, they still carry it around here and there. But in the studio, on all her vocals, what they did here, this is not just a general Fairchild compressor. It is an exact duplicate of that specific Fairchild 660 that they've fallen in love with uh, for Martina's voice and so many other things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass them all, let a couple bars play, make them all active in with one click, and you'll just hear how the track just kind of gels, okay? Check it out. Well, I didn't know I'd be more than the things you see And it wasn't easy in the beginning getting to know me Sometimes I can't see past all the good Okay, so all of a sudden her vocal sounds like it's part of the band. You know, it was it was too loud a while ago. It was really, really jumping out. And in fact, I think I got a little heavy handed on her cause it, just because uh, I want her to just be a little more dynamic than that. But you, you hear, all of a sudden we hear the notes on the piano. We hear the notes on the guitar. Let's do that one more time because I think that's a pretty powerful, um, not only learning tool uh, as far as how uh, effective compression can be, but listen to the tonality. It's not just the fact that we're locking her into place, but it's also the fact that we're, we're locking all these things into place, running them through all these tubes and getting that sweet saturation sound. So you'll listen that not only is it more cohesive uh, because of the compression, but it's more cohesive because of the, the, the harmonic distortion edge that we're placing around all the elements as well. Well, I didn't know I'd be more than the things you see. And it wasn't easy in the beginning getting to know me. Okay, so now let's go over to the piano. And what we have here, we have the 67 as well. And right now I have it linked. Let's go. I think there's a, a section of the song down here where he's kind of ad-libbing and playing a lot more uh, like a musical outro. Okay, so let's check this out. So here's no compression. Okay, so let's go to factory default and just dial something in. Now, I, I will say, this is a good time to say, they if you check this out right here, they have some presets from some pretty uh, some pretty prominent names. Uh, Joe Ciccarelli, Russ Hogarth, and, and so many others. So there's lots of kind of things, to if you're kind of new to the mixing game, new to Fairchild, and, and you're thinking, I don't know what time constant to use. Well, two things. First of all, we, we kind of showed how you can overthink that with the Fairchild, because almost no matter where you said it, it's going to sound great. But if you want to know exactly what some of your heroes like Joe Ciccarelli does, you can just bring it up and, and, and check it out, what he does on drums, what he does on mix bus, various things. So it gets you off to a good start. But what I want to do is just kind of do a factory default and dial something in, okay? Let's do that again. Check out Disconnected. Volume swings. If he wanted to, he would. He would. Ooh, chase him down when it's no good. All right, one more time. With. If he wanted to, he would. He would. Ooh, chase him down when it's no good. No good. Ooh, ooh, ooh he would. Okay, I love that. That's that's amazing. So what we're gonna do is remember how remember how we played with the mix knob, the dry wet blend on some other uh, instruments uh, earlier. What I want to do is I want to get really aggressive with her vocal. If he wanted to, he would. Okay, now let's bring uh, the mix knob back and it, to get rid of some of the artifacts that we're hearing. If he wanted to, he would. He would. Ooh, chase him down when it's no good. No good. I do not hate that whatsoever. I want to try the same setting, but on three. So it's it's still... Now, actually, let's try two. Let's try two. The 800 milliseconds release. If he wanted to, he would. He would. Ooh, chase him down when it's no good. No good. 
Now let's listen to just the close mics without the room. Now I'm going to add the, the room in after a couple bars, and you'll hear the massive difference. In an entirely different feel uh, of energy, uh, of being in a real space. 